Hey guys, thanks for tuning on in for today's video. Thank you for stopping on by. If you're new, hi, I'm Ansley. This is That's Really Pretty. We're in the middle of rebranding, so woo woo. But for now, we are talking about beauty and a little bit of fashion. Check out my Instagram. I'll be announcing some changes throughout the next week, I want to say. We've got some stuff launching in November. So check me out on Instagram if you want to stay up to date with all that stuff. If you are not new, hey, what's up? What's good? Thank you for coming on back. I do appreciate the support not only on here but across all my social media so thank you for stopping on by today we are talking about what I picked up at the Sephora like sales appreciation event I don't really know what it's called they kind of change it they change the name they change the way they do it like every other year so stuff I picked up while you know Sephora was having a store-wide discount that's what we'll call this video <laughs> it'll be a very long title but anywho I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys what I picked up I do have a couple of tips and strategies for shopping that is pretty much going to be the video. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these types of videos or are interested in the stuff that I got. Comment any questions that you have down below. If it's about any of the products or the sale or being rude, like what you get versus the other tiers, like happy to answer all of that stuff. And if you are new or you have seen some of my videos without subscribing, please consider doing so if you like this or any of my other content. All right. Yes, let's go ahead and get this done. Like I said, it's going to be very short. I feel very, very sick. So I just kind of want to get this up before that happens to me. So yeah, in case you wanted to shop the sale and wanted to know what I got, you would know in time. So I went twice. I forgot to get something the first time, so I had to go back. I also spent enough money that I got to do like the hydrofacial thing. I will post on my Instagram that experience. This is my like first day after having done it, what my skin looks like. I do Dermaflash every week. I have one of the tools and I will say I had flashed the day before and my skin looked so much better after I had done like the hydrofacial versus the Dermaflash. You can only get that facial done once a month. So I am glad that I had the Dermaflash tool, but like my skin looked so much better. After I exfoliated and they did the facial, there was still more stuff to exfoliate which was very interesting to me so anywho I will post that on my Instagram if you guys want to see like what the tool looks like I'll talk about the process like all that kind of stuff so I did try that out yesterday in the store so I've got two bags one of them is like kind of ripped at the bottom it's cool Sephora it's fine <laughs> let's see what is the first thing okay yes yeah, so this is the thing that I uh, had to go back and get so I haven't tried it yet. Let me know if you want to see a video on this. It would be like 30 seconds long. It would be a standalone video on this product. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Mascara. This is the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. So I haven't tried it. I'm definitely going to use this on my Instagram. Part of the changes that I'll be making is I'll probably be doing less beauty content on my YouTube moving forward, focusing more of that on my Instagram and then doing more mental health and wellness stuff as it relates to my blog. I'll be doing a lot of videos on that. So like I said, check out Instagram. There'll be a lot of changes uh, coming up ahead. But if you guys want to see this, I don't want to make a YouTube video. I would probably just do something on Instagram. So let me know. So the next three products, these are the rest of the things that I got. One of them is restocking. I This will be the third like set of these that I bought. They are the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vitamin C Glow Powders. These things, they are strong, but they will change your life, <laughs> especially with like fresh hyperpigmentation. Like after one use, it lightens it significantly. Like it's insane. I cannot recommend these enough. This is like one of the very few products that I would say like ride or die. We'll buy it every time I run out. Have backups on backups on backups. Like I absolutely love this stuff. And I think this retails for like 40, 42 bucks. I'm pretty sure it's 40. Um, so you do save a couple of bucks with this. And then I think the Charlotte Tilbury mascara might be like $30. Maybe. I think it is $30. It's kind of expensive, but I hear really good things about it. All right. And these last two products, they are new, but I use products from both of these brands already. <laughs> So I'm not new to the brands. This is the Caudalie uh, Instant Foaming Cleanser. I was using the Neogen Green Tea one and I ran out of it or I'm almost done with it. So I just wanted to pick up another one. I like this brand quite a bit. Got something wet on me. I, I don't know what that's from. Um, but so yeah, I like this brand quite a bit. So I just wanted to try it. And it's pretty all natural. I think it's like 97.9 or 99.7% natural um, ingredient so it is considered a clean product at Sephora and this was 28 bucks I believe 
And then this last one, I'm very excited. I hear very, very good things about this Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a drier oil. Uh, I use the fresh sea berry oil both night and day. I don't even know why I picked it up. Everyone kept recommending that oil to me. And then I looked at like what the ingredients were and like what it was designed to do. And it wasn't what I was looking for. So instead of using that twice a day, I'm going to use this to help clear up like um, even texture, hyperpigmentation, just add a little bit of dewiness and radiance into my skin, into my complexion. So I'll use this at night and then I'll continue to use the sea berry oil during the day. And when I run out of that, I'm going to buy another Kiehl's oil, but these oils are very expensive, so I don't want to just keep buying them and then not using them. So we're going to try this out. I heard really, really good things. So this was 47 bucks. They do make a larger size of this, like a, like a Costco economy size, whatever. And I don't remember how much that is, but these go, like a little goes a long way. So I didn't feel compelled to size up. <laughs> So we just got the little one for right now. So that is all the stuff that I got, y'all. I did not really want to shop the sale. And I might blog about it. I'm really struggling to keep making like product reviews and tutorials. One, they don't do well on my YouTube channel. Like y'all really don't care. <laughs> you don't really want to see how I put, you know, eyeshadow on and do these smoky, bronzy fall looks. And that's fine. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Like I can just see the views and they don't really pull well. And then my product tutorials are super hit or miss in terms of the ones that do well. And that, like recently I've just been called to talk more about mental health and wellness. And so when I think about rebranding, it's kind of like, all right, what am I talking about? What am I doing? When you go on XYZ platform, what do I want people to experience? And I'm just, I'm not really sure about doing these videos anymore. So if you have any thoughts about that, definitely comment down below. My Instagram family is very on board with some wellness content. I'm not really sure what my YouTube community is kind of feeling, but I think I'm going to be concentrating more of that stuff on my Instagram <laughs> and talking more about mental health and wellness on here. <laughs> so just let me know what you think. Going back to the sale, a couple of strategies. So 20% off isn't really significant to me unless I'm spending a hundred bucks. So I wasn't sure if I was going to shop the sale because I wasn't sure if I was going to get any of this stuff. And so anything under a hundred bucks is just like saving on tax for me. So don't feel the pressure to shop the sale if you really don't think you want anything, aren't going to be spending a lot of money. A popular strategy that people have is to buy backup. So if it's stuff you already love and just like would purchase it anyways, yeah, it's nice to save a couple of bucks. But again, don't feel the stress of shopping the sale. I used to get really bad anxiety about not shopping it. And sometimes I would literally buy stuff just to return it. Don't be like me. <laughs> just don't feel the stress of it. Um, some other techniques, I think you can stack this with, with what with whatever, sorry, with whatever is on sale already in like the weekly wow or the, in the sales category. So it's always a nice little bit of extra savings. And then depending on, so this has happened in the past, I should say. So sometimes they'll have like early access to stuff that, so if you're interested in it, it's also nice to save a little bit of money. I know they do like 24 hour releases through the app. They might not have any going on during the sale, but in the past I've gotten stuff and then got a discount on it as well. And then if I didn't say it already, the weekly wow is also a great way just to save a couple of bucks on stuff. So those are my couple of tips if you are interested in shopping the sale. So that is the video. I'm going to very, very quickly wrap this up and edit it and upload it all in the same day. Let me know if you got anything from the sale or if you're on a no buy, what you would get if you were to shop the sale. If you've tried any of the stuff, let me know. Like I said, the only thing that I have tried is that fresh glow powder. So I don't know what this other stuff is going to shake out. I'll probably do a review of it on my Instagram or my blog for each of the end individual products but if you have tried something let me know what you think and yeah let me know about the whole entire beauty stuff on YouTube versus Instagram and all that I am I'm still thinking about it <laughs> it's a very big decision to make so I am still thinking about it but I would love your input from my YouTube community all right guys that is it take care have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys later bye